Okay, well, someone's got to look after you, soft boy. <laughs> soft boy, I say. Might I'm be a just... trap. It might be a. It might be an Aster trap of some kind. You know. I can take care of myself. I say. Look, I created these electrical punching fists. Okay. I appreciate you coming along, but I can take just... care of myself. I say, um, walking directly I know. towards a wall deep in thought. <laughs> <laughs> I take him and, and like pivot him through 90 degrees so that he can carry on walking while lost in thought. Uh, it is Wester. Wester with his lovely, let's say, sandy hair and sure. medium build. <laughs> uh, and he's, he's uh, Wester, Wester is sat there, you know, just hunched over a, a glass. But looking up, he sees you, Edvard, and goes, Edvard! Wester, Bloody hell. old man, how are you? Ah, all the better for seeing you, old chum. Or, or, although, uh, in every other respect, terrible, terrible. Oh. You you actually realise now, Edvard, that you never asked his last name, and now it would be really rude to not to not admit you don't know. <laughs> Wester takes okay. a big swig and goes, "Oh, I'll tell you what, that hits different once you're 30. <laughs> what time is it? I check my watch. <laughs> it's ten forty-two a.m. <laughs> Wester, what if? What if? And hear me out here. What if someone? were to sabotage Astor, level the playing field, so to speak. <laughs> can I just can I just look around and, and scan our surroundings, see if there's anyone suspicious yes. in the crowd? Anyone sure. sitting alone? Yep. Anyone out and of here's place? Here's how we'll do it, Wester, I say. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, the death of Amadeus Astor. <laughs> what I think would be great is if Astor were widely discredited, his company went bankrupt, and he was uh, driven to take his own life um, <laughs> from the despair of his uh, business collapsing and all his personal relationships falling apart. So, but also the right, custom lock, the custom lock. I don't want to go into too, too many details. I, don't, I think it would probably be for the best if you didn't know any details, just in case... Uh, they torture it out of me. Just in case, you know, you That's can... what we're all thinking. <laughs> yeah. I was about to stop you, Edvard, yes. <laughs> well, maybe you could get in the same way I did. There he is, old wild man, Wester. <laughs> I knew you were still in there, old man. <laughs> well, yes, it was... Uh... Oh, it was it was a uh, it was quite the scheme, quite the ruse, the way I got in. I uh, well, I got I got I got hired to 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 do it to do the job, which I did faithfully for several years. Um, so we should apply for jobs. Well, a crazy wild man, West. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, as you see, I haven't lost my flair for the for the, dramatic, for the old yes, prank. <laughs> um, Zilla, how do you feel about I like this it. this plan? You think you could pass yourself off as an inventor? No, by no means. But. They can't turn me away, right? Yes, that's true. Do they um, have a punching department? Do they have a punching do department? Like in the, in the R&D, you know, well, so, there's, so they um, research and develop punching technologies. Yeah. An entire floor of the building is is uh, is dedicated to defense. Um, I'm, I'm sure they've got something punching related. All right. Zilla's got excellent defense, I say, I say, look at this, and I swing a right hook at her. <laughs> I catch his fist and turn him upside down. You see, isn't she great? <laughs> And, um, oh, uh, spoke craft for taxi cabs, although I hear that was recently shut down, the whole division. Um, yes, I heard uh, terrible business with their hydraulic spoke. Yes, it's yes, rather embarrassing. Dangerous, bad invention of, as, of yes. Astor's, yeah. As, well, he shut down the whole department. PR disaster, rather I heard. Ugly business. Um, yeah, a lot of good fellows out of work. Um, <laughs> uh, then uh, one floor up is... Pay the man, Edward. Let's, let's boogie. Coin. I wouldn't have said that. Let's leave. <laughs> Let's boogie. I've only no. got one coin on me at the moment, old chap, uh, but you can have it. I mean, it's all I've got on me right now. Oh. You're, well, you're welcome to it for for the capital help you've given. Uh, yes, of course. Um, oh, yes. Uh, sorry. Embarrassing even to ask. Thank you, Edvard. Much appreciated. Not a Thank problem. you. Yes. Very good. Uh, uh, well, food or rent. That's the thing, isn't it? Um, Edvard. <laughs> I stare daggers at Edward because I know he's got more <laughs> coins in his pocket. I, I need this money for in, in inventions. <laughs> I know how much electrical... Uh, yeah, we're not walking in and saying, hello, we're Edvard and Zillow. We're here to rob the thing. It's social we're, stealth. It's, so, it's use, social stealth. I've given uh, um, Zilla one of my spare lab coats that I ordered and it arrived. It was too large a size for me, but it actually cool. is the right size. That only gigantic, just makes sense. gigantic traps. Only just. It's yeah. yeah. I'm about to hulk out of this lab coat. Yeah, but it also reads thoughts. Does it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Like I put it on and I say, "You're thinking this is a stupid invention." Oh, was I, I, I was am I thinking right? it's a stupid. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah thinking exactly. It's a so there you go. Wow. Take All that right. with you. Wow. Oh, Barney. Yes. Um. Uh. I. I think we have on file that you've actually applied 
Uh, before Barney, are you trying to uh, have a second bite at, um, oh. at the at the apple, as it were? Classic. She oh. winks at you, Edvard, because she sees you coring the apple and makes this uh, makes this apple pun. Um, Whip the apple, it's a bit much. Barney. <laughs> a second bite of that apple <laughs> has made no income <laughs> from interventions in last year. I've been saving them all up, you see, to present them to it. Astor, my hero. I'm sure, Mr. Gory, I'm sure. Um, I take a large um, wrench and start hitting a piece of sheet metal with it. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um, Noisily. It's not- I'm inventing, I Dumb. say. Create the box with the spirit in it, acting out the story of an ogre who lives in a, a swamp and his wise cracking donkey friend. Okay. Cleaning automaton. And he flicks a switch on it and it starts to creep forward uh, with little little rotors at the front that clean uh, as it goes. It can run for a total of four hours until... And, and he's cut off because a spring fires out the centre of it and lodges in his eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh my God! <laughs> Oh. I bound onto stage theatrically <laughs> and I say, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I present to you the Lumiere Magic Lanthorn. That's not my name, it's the name of the product. The Lumiere <laughs> Magic Lanthorn. <laughs> yes, yes, no, already on fire. Yes, no. And uh, if you will um, uh, follow me. Indeed. We have uh, something of a special treat for you um, in the second interview stage. Someone who I think you'll be very excited to meet. Oh, yes? Who, who might that be? Well, uh, she leans in close to you. Mr. Astor himself is in the building today and would love to take a look at your work. Being sort of shuffled away, low, low key, low profile. Like, like when you get arrested at Disneyland. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Like, you know, you know, when you get arrested at Disneyland. Yeah, yeah, you, you all, uh, yeah. Something good, a good but, relatable yeah. example there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When they, I'm, not, I'm not trying to, like, beat him to death with a wrench. Cool. At this point. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, is there a bathroom? I'll tell you what, all the doors are unmarked. This is the mm-hmm. defence bit, after all. <sighs> well, that's, so, that's really inconvenient when you've got a meeting and you walk into the toilets and vice versa. So, I, um... Can you not just go after we've done the heist? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you do vault over the cubicle door. Yeah, I do. Uh, just in time to see someone coming out of another <laughs> cubicle. Uh, <laughs> all right, I land at that widow in the uh, toilet store. Is I, it my go now? Let's say... <laughs> I can't wait to get deeper into this mess. Wait, am I in a half Nelson or am I not in a half Nelson? You're in a you're in a half Nelson. Uh, all right, I scorpion yeah. kick him over okay. the head. <laughs> okay, cool. This is more like a panic reaction uh, for you, Zilla, but, but what a panic... Your panic re- reaction is to do yeah, a flip off the wall. Yeah. When startled, you will run up a wall <laughs> and do a flip. Yeah. Um, when did you first realise, um, Mr. Gory, uh, that you loved Astor Interventions? Oh. Oh. What wonderful interventions they are. You know, I think it was the first time I ever used an Astor lock to secure... Um, I like I like to bicycle around the city, and uh, I remember locking my bicycle to the railings outside of my college. And I thought to myself, "That is a, a wonderful lock, and not a, a stupid lock that a baby could have made." Just appreciating its wonderful design. Um, How does he come up with all these ideas? I often <laughs> wonder. Well, uh, you may well get the chance to ask him. Um, but-, but I think what Astor has done here that's truly remarkable is he's created a community, and people are coming have come together rallied around this wonderful man and they just want to work hard to really bring out his vision and I'm sorry I'm getting emotional but it just means a lot to me now Gory um, this uh, lanthorn that you s- describe and he looks up and goes Edvard Lumiere uh no Cornelius Gory it's, uh, Edvard I- Edvard well, well, well. Perhaps you're thinking of my cousin Edvard. Edvard. How pleasant to see you. How long has it been? This is this is rather embarrassing. Um, I'm delighted to see you. And I'll tell you why, Edvard. It's because I've always thought that this silly feud between us... There's a lot of silly nonsense. 
I always thought, why couldn't we combine brain power for the good of Volisport? You know, the differences between us, I always thought silly. Silly. Philosophical. Absolutely. You. Foolish pride. Foolish pride. Your problem, Edvard, is that you always... You always took things a little... A little too seriously. Hmm. You were, uh... I, what, I mean, what even is the theft of ideas that you've worked on and bankrupted yourself trying to get to market? I mean, in the long run, what does it really... What does it really matter? As long as the people are out there enjoying... Enjoying the inventions. I mean, that's Edward, what we're really in it Edward. for, isn't it? We're re it for was, the betterment of humanity. It was only ever purely business, and I'm, I'm sorry that you in the past had this bee in your bonnet about intellectual property. The truth is that all Silly great really, artists isn't steal. Yeah. Isn't that true, Edvard? Isn't that what they say? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so Just, I, I tell you what, why don't we, um, why don't we give you a... Uh, why don't we give you the tour? Introduce you to some of the other heads gosh, of departments. I'd, gosh, I'd love it. Yes, yeah, a rather nasty bit of business uh, at, uh, at Capcom. I don't know if you heard. We had a, a oh, I read function. A, read about it in the paper. One of your interventions mm. burst into flames. Yes, you were there that day, weren't you? At Capcom. Yes. Don't don't think so. Edvard. But can can you prove I was at Capcom? Amadeus? Don't think you can. <laughs> I think I can. I hope we meet again soon, Edvard. And, Me too. Uh, he. I smile. In a way that conveys limitless rage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm choking out guard number one with my thighs. <laughs> yes. I assume he's being tortured horribly somewhere, but there's sure. just nothing I can do about it right now. Yeah, sure. Okay, so we're up on the... I feel dreadful about it, but... It's Noted. Beyond, it's Noted. beyond my power. Yeah. Viewer, she feels terrible. I feel terrible, terrible about it. I might as well stay on target. All right. Well, anyone who hums on the regs, I reckon I can take in a fight. <laughs> I think. That's a great rule of thumb. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, if yeah. there's one thing I know, it's the alphabet, Alice. So. <laughs> That's great. A for A for al alphabet. A Alice. For Alice. A for I'm I'm sorry. I don't I don't socialize much. Um, but it's uh. Oh, I, I like mm, Alice very much, and I hope mm, I don't have to choke her out. With my thighs. I'm sorry. So, oh, nothing. Um, mm -hmm. I. You could push yourself, but you would be traumatized. Is that right? <laughs> I do not want to be traumatized because I because of archiving. Because I filing some. filing can be traumatic. <laughs> she goes over to a little electronic box that's kind of on the thing. Oh, Alice! I choke uh, Alice unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll me for that as well. Poor Alice. <laughs> Poor Alice, I liked her. I get very lonely here, Peter. It's very lonely here in the archives. It's just me, Alice. I'm Alice. Alice. And I get very lonely and sometimes I need to talk to you, Peter. Alice, I don't know how many times I have to tell you I don't want to go out with you. Well, think on it, Peter. I'll try again tomorrow. God, all right. Um, look. Hi. What's what's Help. going on? Yeah, OK. Um... Zilla is also soaking wet and covered in blood. Right. <laughs> Gosh, you look like you've had quite the afternoon. I say. Yeah, I've been busy. Uh, help me find the dimmer file. Uh, it's okay. here somewhere. I'm gonna look I've got blood for... on a lot of it. I'm going to look for the dimmer file too. Alice? Peter, I want to I wanna be alone. Leave me alone, Peter. Alice, too late, look, Peter. I'm sorry about what I said. No, it's I... too late. We can Alice. never be. I've barricaded myself in the archive. I want to be alone. The thing is, Alice, I, d I haven't known how to say it before, but I'm not made of stone. Of course I have feelings for you. I just... I thought for so long that you didn't feel the same way and... Get rid of then, him, Is this our fate, Alice? To just be ships passing in the night? I don't know, Peter. I hope not. Take as long as you need, Alice, but not too long. We've okay. waited long enough. I stroke the door. <laughs> <laughs> We're on a remote cliff just outside of Volisport. And okay. I am training Edvard how to swan dive. <laughs> Okay, Perfectly. Yeah. All right. Dive better. Dive yeah. now. Dive yeah. good. Yeah. Absolutely. This uh, this lesson happened with um, Edvard wearing black and white stripy Victorian yes. bathing yes. bathing woolens. Yes. Or yeah. Yeah. Fe feet as an arrow. Feet together. Headfirst. Hold my Head breath. Together. Yep. And then just don't dive. just yeah. don't, don't open yep. your mouth. Pucker, <laughs> pucker up down there, and then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's lesson this. one. 
<laughs> seal all the exits yep. and yeah. then jump. Seal yeah, all the exits and then jump. Right. Yeah, that's the one. All right, okay. count us in. How do you do it, by the way? How do you how do you reduce stress? What's oh, your, um, what's your uh, advice? Yeah, my advice is weird. Uh, oh, okay. And yeah, <laughs> say no more. 